Yo, yo, what's good? You already know it's one uh, communication another video, man. Before we start this video, I'll pray to do some most I got. Make sure you guys are giving a like to your Lord and Savior Yahshua. I'll pray to do the Elohim as well as make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Now, look, today's video, man, how to become the most handsome guy in the room, the full looks maxing guy. Now, I had a, I had a video for y'all, man, and I had to scrap the whole video. Y'all wonder why I don't do edits, even though y'all, I'm the numbers growing. I don't even need edits. But I tried to do other edits and listen. Well, I said other edits. I tried to do some edits in um the video that I scrapped. And that editing program, that video editing program just said just made me say, you know what? Let me get the hell off this computer and get on this phone and record some videos. Because I noticed this is all I need to do. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if y'all want some edits or something like that, y'all can go to other channels who show y'all edits. But me personally. I feel like I don't need edits. I can hit it 100K without doing any edits. You know what I'm saying? So let's hop straight into it, man. How to look smacks. You want to be the most handsome guy in the room? You want to be considered the most handsome in that room that you step in, man? These are some of the things you need to be looking to do. Number one, I say it all the time. Drop your body fat percentage. Don't give me no excuses. I get some comments saying, I'm a hard body fat percentage. I'm still pulling with me. Cool to you, man. I hats off. Hats off to you. But if you want to be considered the most handsome guy in the room, your face is going to have some definition, G. Let, let's cut the BS for a second. Your face is going to have to have some definition, G. It's simple. You are going to have to have a low body fat percentage in the face. Forget what you heard. Forget what you thought. You want to be the most handsome? You want to be the most attractive guy in the room? You are going to have to do those things. You know, just the handsome part. You know, you want to be the most handsome. And I'm gonna let you know right now. Being handsome is debates. You need to get them over there. When you throw that pole out there, and you went on that catfish to hit. You got some bait on there. But guess what? In order for you to get him in, you gotta have some more stuff. So that's where body game and everything else come in. But you need to lure them over there. You need to be dropping body fat percentage, man. You can't be sitting here thinking you finna get all this attention, all this special treatment from these women, and you got a fat face. Make it make sense. Y'all see how defined my face is? I don't mean to brag anything like that. But y'all see how defined my face is? Like y'all can just see my cheekbones from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? And at first, I didn't have a defined jawline or a nice cheekbones. Man, my face is fat as I don't know what. But I started to drop body fat percentage and I started to see my cheekbones. So stop giving me the excuses of, oh, this and I'm that. Why are you coming on my video then? Because you know, my guy just dropped a damn body fat percentage. You feel me? Next, man, your teeth. Listen, I don't have the best teeth in the world. It's the first thing I'm going to work on when I get this bread right. First thing I'm getting, y'all, is my teeth done. You know what I'm saying? But what saves me with women is what doesn't make my teeth so much of a problem with women. Because I know a lot of women don't like gaps. A lot of women are going to talk to a man with a gap. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I have no damn insecurity. So, oh, I got a gap. I don't want to show you. No, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women are going to disqualify me because I got a gap. But here's the equalizer with this. Two things. Number one, my teeth are whiter than an average man's teeth would be because I take very good care of my teeth. I, I really take care of my dental health. And no, I don't go to dentists and get all these whitenings. I use a simple toothpaste. Hello, toothpaste. Don't come in the comment section asking man well what is a toothpaste it's hello toothpaste my g i gotta say it loud because it's gonna be 10 comments that's gonna say what's the toothpaste and i'm not responding it's hello toothpaste look it up hello toothpaste you feel me and um number two is that my breath smells good if you come in the girl face i don't care if your teeth you don't got no gap no none your teeth are straight if you come in a girl face and your breath smell like hell no, nah, guess what? She gonna be thinking, hell no. Nah. Those are two things that save me. Is I got white teeth, very white teeth, and um, you know, also my breath. I, I'm never lacking, y'all. I want y'all to understand something. I'm never lacking. You feel me? I'm never lacking. I keep a pack. I got a pack like this. I keep it in my car. Whenever I'm getting in my car, whenever I'm getting in my car, um, time to chew. So that's just a little quick tip right there, you feel me? Also, 
different flavors as well, man. I got a whole nother pack up in here somewhere. I dropped it, but y'all get my point. So those two things need to be intact, that breath and them teeth, man. Okay, number three, your hairstyle. Now, listen, I got a, I got a very good announcement to make. I'm finna get me a new hairstyle. I want y'all to understand something. I was talking to one of the homies, and he made perfect sense. I'm glad that he told me that. I said told me that. I'm glad that he told me that. Shout out to you, my guy. You know who you is. He was telling me that, you know, I should go ahead and go with a drop fade because my hair right now, it's, it's not really faded like that. If you guys have noticed, I, I got a line yesterday, you know, but I just got a line just because, you know, I was getting out somewhere for the time being. But the thing is, my hair is not completely fade. Like when I get a fade, you know what I'm saying? My, it might be a little fade right there, something like that. But for the most part, man, I don't have an all around fade like I used to have back in my quote unquote bad boy days. Listen, guys, I want y'all to understand something. In junior high, you know, besides now, obviously, but I'm telling y'all in some past times, when I had a taper fade in junior high, guys, when I had a taper fade, I got the most women that you could think of. Most women you could think of. You have to have a fade, guys, haircuts. You need a fade. I'm going to let you know right now. Women correlate a fade with bad boy. Let's just call it what it is. Women correlate a man having a fade as a bad boy. I'm telling you this right now. Just like if I see a girl with straight hair, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to think she pretty. I'm going to think she feminine. I'm going to think she got a lot, a lot of, I said a lot, a lot. I'm going to think she got a lot of femininity in her. She see you with a fade clean. She going to think you a bad boy. She going to, um, I got to have them. Whenever you have a fade, you will notice how much attention you get. Whether it be a drop fade, ball fade, whatever looks good on you. But I'm definitely changing my hairstyle around because I'm going to let you know right now. Hair matters. I want to say this again. Hair matters. It matters, y'all. So understand this when trying to, you know what I'm saying, get in the dating game, you want to be that handsome guy in the room, that hair got to be different, man. You need a fade. Now, what was I on? I believe I was on number three, number four, whatever I'm on. I'm just freestyling, y'all. Number four, Style. I can't stress this enough. I'm make this simple for y'all. In the winter time, turtlenecks. All you need is some shoes to match the turtleneck. I'm going to give y'all some examples. Y'all see my pictures. Red turtleneck, red shoes, black pants. Easy. Say, for instance, you got some burgundy and white, white shoes. White turtleneck, burgundy pants, burgundy and white shoes. It's simple. Say, for instance, you got a navy blue. Y'all didn't see me. Y'all didn't see me. I wore a navy blue turtleneck, white pants, blue and white retro Jordans. It's simple. Turtlenecks, turtlenecks, turtlenecks. That's all you really need to be wearing or jumpsuits, but mainly turtlenecks. If you want to have that, that business casual, but that street hood look at the same time, throw on some retro drays that matches the turtleneck. And also, make sure you got the double change. Y'all see, I have my Jesus chain. And I have my um, Cuban link. It's all you need. Get you a ring, um, a watch, and that's it. And some earrings. And you good to go. Do not stress this. That's the winter wear. That's what you want to have in the winter, man. And make sure, obviously, you're wearing something under there to make you warm. Because just the turtleneck, I ain't going to lie to you. You're going to be cold as hell. But if you got something on under there, on under there, you will do. And also, in the summer, all you need is a Hawaiian... I might leave the link in the description, man. Y'all boy gonna be stealing my swag. Y'all gonna be ordering up all the shirts. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Y'all gonna need, I forgot what they call exactly, but y'all have seen in some of my Instagram video, I said video, Instagram posts. Y'all can go on my Instagram right now and scroll all the way down. You're gonna see me in like a, a red, yellowish Hawaiian shirt, man, with the cutoff sleeves. It's like a dress shirt, but it's more, it's more beach-like, but you can still wear it anywhere. Hawaiian cutoff, man, double chains, ring watch earrings get you either some you know what i'm saying get you make it's the same thing man if you got a blue hawaiian shirt get you some black you know black pants blue shoes it's simple you know that's all you're really going to need throughout the seasons that way it's showing your physique but it's also showing that you still business casual but you got some streaks in you too you know that that's very significant when it comes to being the most handsome guy in the room all of that stuff matters man and also man physique the thing is i want y'all to understand something man you you can be the handsomest guy in the room but i'm telling you right now 
her eyes is finna go from your face to your body instantly. Just like that. Face to body. Face to body instantly. So you got to have your physique on point, man. Get the bulking up in the gym. After you done slimmed down on your body fat, get the bulking up in the gym, guys. Literally, get the bulking up in the gym. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all this, man. If all y'all be saying some dudes be, weird dudes be under there coming, what, what, what you think you is on the scale of one to ten? I don't know. Ask your mom. Ask your sister. Ask your, ask your niece. You know what I'm saying? If they of age, obviously. And ask your girl, you know what I'm saying? Don't be asking me this. I'm not going to tell you what I think I am. I'm just telling y'all my experiences. But if you do these things, I guarantee. And also, man, this is common sense. Make sure your damn lips not white. Don't don't be looking like you doing. Don't be looking like you off the, the um, Chappelle show, man. But if you do these things, you'll be the most handsome guy in the room. Not every time, but in some cases, you're going to be the most handsome guy in the room. If you do these things, I'm telling you guys. Everything that I just told you, if you do these things, I guarantee you that you will be the most handsome guy in the room. It's really simple, man. It's nothing hard about it. All these edits and everything, you don't even need that. You just need word of mouth. And I'm telling you guys, the things that I'm saying, y'all know is 100% facts. You feel me? 100% facts. But yeah, man, I do want to hold you guys for too long. If you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. Comment down below, and I'm out.